There was actually a time before Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. In 2005, MySpace was one of the most popular sites on the internet and the biggest when it came to social network. At its peak, it had 106 million user accounts and almost a billion people visiting the site every month. You would think a company this big would have high security. Well, on October the 4th, a then 19-year-old Sami Kamkar created a computer worm that would make him the most popular person on the site while changing the internet forever. Sami was kind of an introvert and really liked keeping to himself. He was a high school dropout who had co-created a startup company called Finality and raised over $46 million in revenue. He would normally spend his days in front of the computer messing with websites and code. MySpace at that time let you customize your personal page to a certain extent with HTML code. This, as you might expect, made for some awful looking pages with flashing images and backgrounds. But it also sparked an idea for a tech savvy guy like Sammy. He started playing around with uploading scripts to the site to tweak to his advantage. MySpace had a limit where you could only add 12 photos to your personal page, and Sammy tried a trick in the website in letting him upload 13 photos instead. After some time, he was able to add an additional picture. He kept going, and after a while he had a profile with a lot of cool effects that a normal user wouldn't be able to add. But even with all of this, he still would get rejected when trying to add new friends, so he came up with a new idea. He started programming a script that would make a user, when visiting Sammy's profile, send Sammy a friend request and also update their hero section to display, but most of all, Sammy is my hero. This was made with cross-site scripting, or XSS. XSS lets a hacker input code that will be executed by the browser when a visitor visits a specific page. The browser executes the codes since it thinks that it comes from a trusted source. This lets Sammy input actions that would be run silently by the user when visiting Sammy's profile. Sammy realized that it wouldn't get a big result if he only put this on his own profile. So he programmed the script so that every user we put the script on their own profile as well, thus making a self-reproducing virus or a worm. He went to bed thinking that he would maybe have 10 to 15 new friend requests in the morning, but during his sleep, something much bigger was happening. The script, or as it is now known as, the Sammy worm had started spreading. When waking up the following morning and logging into MySpace, he had over 200 friend requests. You can imagine the panic the Sammy started having. He quickly tried to delete his account, but it would take an additional 24 hours. He wrote a quick anonymous email to MySpace telling them what was happening and how he could help them to fix it, but he got no response. At noon, he had 2,500 friends and over 6,000 friend requests. He wrote a blog post describing that people started to get pissed off believing he had hacked them and added his name to their heroes page. He ended the blog post with, I hope no one sues me. The script kept going, and that night he had over a million friend requests and wrote a new blog post. It's official. I'm finally popular. This was when MySpace finally woke up. They had to take the site down to find out what happened. After some investigation, they deleted the script and sent a camp car was removed from the site. Half a year later, camp car was raided by the feds, and he pled guilty to releasing the worm. He didn't have to go to prison but he had to pay a fine of $20,000. He had to do 720 hours of community servers. But most of all, he was not allowed to use a computer for three years. The Sammy Worm really demonstrated how dangerous an XSL hole could be. Camcar didn't have any bad intentions, he just wanted to be popular. But a criminal could easily have made a lot of damage writing their own script. This sparked a new way of looking at security and loopholes for websites. Today, Sammy Kamkar is one of the most well-known hackers. He has been a popular speaker at hacker conventions around the world, and he continues to hack and demonstrate weaknesses in systems. MySpace, on the other hand, has been thrown off the throne by the likes of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But the rise and fall of MySpace is for another time and another video. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of the same content, please subscribe. I will have more videos like this up soon.